Hello everyone. Today we will be interviewing Dr. Prashant P. Gowda. He is the head of department consultant pediatrician and neonatologist at Motherhood Hospital. And he is also director and founder of Little Baby Care, Child Development Center and Mom and Baby Clinic with special interest including neonatal and pediatric nutrition, ventilation and so on. Today we will be interviewing him on STEM education. Uh, Dr. Prashant Gowda, STEAM has been a very buzzword recently and uh, there is a lot of thought process on the STEAM word. Uh, the parents have been thinking about you know, uh, how do we help the child to learn STEAM uh, or bring an ecosystem of STEAM. So could you tell us more about you know, how does a parent and the school looks into a STEAM development of a child? The STEAM education system is something which uh, needs it's a need of an hour and this is something which uh, we need to create more public awareness and you're talking about the bus it is the bus now at present and it should be the bus so that uh, everybody gets an awareness and uh, what we call steam so suppose if you have to put it steam or if you have to compare it to the medical field mm -hmm. steam is there everywhere uh, we are talking about science technology engineering, mathematics and arts is what we are talking about. So when, when I say that STEAM, if you have to compare with the medical field, it's more like multidisciplinary approach. Mm -hmm. Where you suppose if any kids come mm -hmm. to us or if any kid is born prematurely yes. mm -hmm. or if, uh, uh, if we are treating any kid, mm -hmm. we cannot just treat the kid only for say for example if they come for cuff. We cannot just treat cuff and then send them back. Right. Or if, you, if, if any new, any premature baby is born or any baby who needs uh, uh, ICU setup, ICU support or any uh, life support, we cannot just treat with just you know looking at whether the baby is breathing or not. In a baby, heart is important, lung is important, brain is important and for digestion of the milk, intestines are important. Right. So if me being a neonatologist, if I need help of a cardiologist to check whether there is any premature related cardiac complications or if I need help of neurologist, uh, uh, if any brain, premature brain or any baby uh, brain related complications and when baby doesn't come out normally. So basically we need all of the different fields in the medicine mm -hmm. to treat one baby as a whole. STEM education is like that, where we apply all the knowledge of science, technology, engineering, math and uh, arts to lead a normal life, mm -hmm. a comfortable life and to apply the knowledge what we have learnt in our day to day life. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing but, if you have to put it in uh, medical language, it's a multidisciplinary approach mm -hmm. of education, where you are trying to bring in all dimensions, suppose when we say science, it includes both natural science and it includes uh, social science. Mm -hmm. So in natural science, we have physics, biology, uh, we have chemistry. So if you go with uh, social science, we have political science, uh, uh, we have uh, you know history. So basically we are integrating everything in one nutshell. Mm -hmm. And then we are training our kids to make sure that they apply this knowledge in their day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. So it has to be a buzz mm -hmm. and we have to create a buzz and we have to make sure that this buzz has an impact in the coming years in the form of involving more parents, more students and creating an environment where the jobs are created based on stuff. Right. So I think uh, you, you have brought a very different perspective on a talk thoughtful thoughts which I would say uh, it, it, it is brings a very new a newness to what you're saying eh? which is I think very important for the parents uh, who are aspiring for child to grow uh, it is also uh, the thought process for the schools to reinvent what they're doing it but having said this I see there is few block uh, block I, I see there are few blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to understand how, and let's try to address them. Mm -hmm. Now, one other thing I see is maybe the parents are confused about like what age is it okay for a child to get into something called a STEM ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So, as a doctor, what do you see in such thought process? See, when you're born as a human being, mm -hmm. so because it has been told by saints, by experts, by intellects, that it's a gift what uh, to be born as a human being on this earth. Mm -hmm. So. 
when i say gift what is that gift of uh, that differentiates human being from the animals is the thinking capacity and our presence of mind to decide what is right what is not right and the emotions uh, which is associated with human brains so this the when we when we talk about stem education or stem concept mm-hmm. the baby without we knowing because now we are we are we are put that word as stem or stem right but without our knowledge we have, we have already integrated certain things in our day to day life and we are we are applying certain things uh, uh, without our knowledge but now time has come to make it more structured so human brain is ready right from birth because they are like hungry tiger within a cage you keep on providing information they keep on taking whatever they want so our approach should be more like a cafeteria approach where you display the menu you give everything to them right. to the kid yeah. so uh, without structured learning they are into the stem right from birth mm-hmm. structured learning what is an appropriate age if you ask me maybe around two and a half to three years would be ideal time and why that two two and a half years see up to two two and a half years uh, our focus with the kid will be to uh, making them or getting them prepared to live in the a uh, present world mm-hmm. that is we our focus will be on their uh, normal growth and development that is which is required for their uh, day to day skill like walking talking picking uh, uh, fine uh, fine uh, skill gross motor skills what we classify or language skill which is which is important for them to express themselves to lead uh, or to survive on this earth mm-hmm. plus our focus will be on nutrition uh, so that the maximum growth especially the physical growth happens in first two years of life next thing is uh, inculcating certain uh, habits and things you know uh, certain habits get fixed psychologically if you look at them uh, certain habits or certain traits get fixed at two years of age so our focus will be on that and that is what that is nothing but even that it uh, you know you can you can uh, link it to the steam or stem education where Uh, the science of uh, understanding life the science of surviving which they'll be uh, learning in first two years of life when it comes to structured learning i think two and a half years is a time an appropriate time when uh, according to me what i understood at the you know uh, practicing with uh, kids or seeing so many kids in our day to day practice mm-hmm. two and a half years would be right age to start some structured program uh, but we should not forget one thing you know to apply the knowledge what we learn from the structured teaching mm-hmm. of steam in our day to day life mm-hmm. this applied knowledge should not be over and above their age mm-hmm. so for a kid of 2 and 1/2 years safety is something which is important right uh, that we need to teach in our uh, steam education then uh, basic life skills so that you know uh, they survive if 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 you have to go a little further mm-hmm. uh, you know whether when it comes to child abuse and other thing the science of expressing mm-hmm. what is right touch what is good touch and what is bad touch everywhere there is stem we have two things in front of us mm-hmm. where you know we can enjoy the technology mm-hmm. or we can create the technology <laughs> so we have to choose what we want to do right. what our kids what our coming generation wants to do mm-hmm. just enjoy the technology with what they have got or create the one where they also enjoy and the whole world enjoys i think you made it more nice it was icing on the cake and wonderfully put across and it was good yeah i mean uh, that is what uh, uh, we should focus on and that's why i called the buzz of creating an awareness of stem buzz the stem is very important yeah.